Hello everybody and welcome to another Dota 2 video and this one, believe it or not, is a Dota 2 unboxing. We've got the International 2021 Lineage Treasure that is uh, before us today. I've uh, gotten a little bit of good score coming in overall from the compendium so far. So uh, we have 11 boxes to choose, 10 initially, 1 from Twitch. So don't forget to link your Twitch to end up getting your free box from spectating for a total of one hour. I think it's just one total box throw throughout the whole entire event. So you can pick an hour of any point in time. It just has to be an hour. Let's go ahead and go over the sets real quick. The first one's going to be the Delights of Pentila, which was a compendium specific unlock that had a prismatic effect. This one is just the straight gold version of it, which turned out really well. Dazzle has very few sets that work out for him. This is actually a gold set I feel that works for him. Then we have Earthshaker's Anvil of the Earth Rite, which we've seen uh, basically looks like this around the same sort of color scheme, except all the gold was red, like a dark crimson. Now it's just straight gold. Works out really well for Earthshaker because his color scheme is that nice sort of soft orange. So not terribly surprised at uh, how it turned out. Next is Crystal Maiden, Maid Maidens, Charge of the Tundra Warden, which is one of the only sets that actually has a very small amount of gold and still Crystal Maiden's base overall model. Still works out really well for her because she does have a good set of gold trim that could work out well with her overall set. Not exactly the craziest on this one, though. Next, we have the Province of the Hunt Eternal, which is a, a Klink set that definitely turned out extremely well for him. Klink's being another model that has that natural orange sheen to it, works out with this very nice trim of gold, and I, I probably will use this set over whatever I have on at the moment, which I think is that set, just not gold. Then we have the Lineage of the Desolate Conquest, or just Desolate Conquest. This was another compendium set that was the first one in Dota 2 cosmetic history that had a skirt separated as a separate art piece for Legion Commander. Now this is the, I think the third set as a result of such that has the skirt as its separate uh, item entity. Another good set, very happy. We all saw it at the front screen as well, so can't really offer too much output on it. Obviously it's missing its prismatic effects, but as it goes. Then we have the lineage of the Arc Temptress. Now the Arc Temptress I think was actually a green set, but this is the one that turns her completely gold. Now, I imagine a lot of people are already using the Quap Arcana, so there's probably little to no pieces that people will actually use with this set, which is quite unfortunate. Next, we have Anti-Mage's Lineage of the Broken Scale. Uh, this is a set that I'm actually like kind of like 50-50 with as well, because it is gold. The glaives are gold, and the chest piece is gold, but everything else has a more purple and dark sheen to it in comparison to its red form. Overall, it still looks pretty good. I might use one of the glaives, but I have the Golden Skull Bashers, so probably not. Next, we have the Lineage of the Ram's Head Armaments, which was not a Compendium-specific set. However, it was one of the more favorite axe sets in history's time. Uh, the only piece I will probably end up using is just the, the gloves, and because I have the Blink Dagger for the belt. And then we have the very rare Lineage Redemption of the Rain, Raid Forged Rider, which, if you get this gold set, you could pair with your, your glaive and your gold shield, and it will work out extremely well. Of course, I only have 11 of them, so our chances of getting it at the end of the day is 1 of 45, plus any other ones that I could get in between now and the end of the International. Let's go ahead and get into this little quick unboxing. Since there's only 11 of them, we're just going to let it slide through all the way. It's been a hot while since we've done an unboxing video. There's not really that many uh, boxes that have been released in uh, in the Dota time at the moment. Of course, the next one's going to be when the Battle Pass comes out again, which will be after the International, according, according to the news thread. I probably will actually use most of that Earthshaker set because I don't think I have a good Earthshaker set on right now. Pretty sure I'm using like a mixed match of things plus a couple of mortals. I might actually use that anvil instead of the uh, the immortal that I have on right now. 
think I have two immortals on Earthshaker. Yeah, he's got the totem that changes color based on the Arcana. Oh, right, he's also got an Arcana. Forgot about that. Maybe there isn't a lot I'm going to use that out of that other shaker then. Alright, two left out of the first set. We get the Legion Commander last. Alright. So that leaves us with three left. We're basically at the point where we just need the very rare. Now these sets do become tradable. It said on like the 11th, I believe. So let's double check this real quick. Yeah, 11, 18, 21. So about a couple months after the, uh, or a month after the last date of the international. I assure you though that buying the physical set is probably going to be cheaper than buying more boxes. And looks like we don't need to buy the set. Because we got it. Alright ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's it for the International 2021 Lineage Treasure. Uh, we got the Luna set. So now we could pair it with our, our Golden Glaives and stuff. Which is good because I actually kind of liked this set. I, I think I remember not actually getting it. It doesn't even load. Do I not have... The set? I think I do. I don't actually have this set. I must have skipped it. Or is this it right here? The Raid Forged Rider. This looks like it's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely it. No, that's not it. I don't have this set. So, uh, new set to the market as well. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. You have to say goodbye to our nice blue fluorescent writer. And uh, we'll see you next time for some more Dota 2 unboxings. Party PD, signing off.